opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B5 gains space on the queen side and threatens the bishop on a 4. BB3 retreats the bishop to a more active square. BB7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. 1 rupee activates the rook and supports the e4 pawn. BC5 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center and attacks the f2 pawn. C3 controls the d4 square and prepares the d4 pawn push. D6 supports the bishop on c5 and the pawn on e5. A very strong play. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This prepares the bishop for development. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This reveals an attack on a rook. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is excellent. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece from a previous move. It is an inaccuracy. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. It is an inaccuracy. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. This removes the attacking knight. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is best. This removes the attacking bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. 
This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. This protects the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is excellent. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is excellent. This evades the check from the queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That was a free pawn. It is best. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. This forks multiple pieces. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. This removes a knight that was threatening to win material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This is the only good move. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This steps away from the checking pawn. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is the only good move. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.